This morning, South Korean President Yoon Sung yeol left for London to attend the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. There, he'll also be meeting with other foreign heads of state on the first leg of a week-long tour also to the U.S. and Canada. Yoon Jung Min reports. Wheels up for South Korean President Yoon Song yeol on Sunday, heading for London, the first leg of a seven-day tour of three countries. Ahead of Monday's state funeral for Queen Elizabeth II, he'll be attending a reception on Sunday hosted by King Charles III, accompanied by his wife, First Lady Kim Gon Yi, where there will be a meet and greet with other world leaders. Mr. Yoon is also set to visit a Korean War Memorial in London to honor the 56,000 British troops who defended the South. Air Force One will then touch down in New York on Tuesday for the 77th UN General Assembly, where the South Korean president will address the 193-member assembly. His first UN address will focus on expanding South Korea's role on the global stage by proposing to tackle together the pandemic, climate change, supply chain disruptions, while also discussing the importance of global solidarity in deterring war and nuclear threats. During this tour, the president will focus on strengthening solidarity with partner countries that share key values and expanding our platform in economic diplomacy. A series of bilateral meetings await President Yoon, including one-on-ones with his U.S. and Japanese counterparts, President Joe Biden and Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, as well as U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Key issues will be the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act, mending Seoul-Tokyo ties which have deteriorated over issues of history, and the North Korean nuclear issue. While in New York, President Yoon will be meeting with business people, scientists, and Korean residents, too. His final leg of tour will take him to Canada, where the Korean leader will meet with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. They are to discuss bolstering economic security cooperation involving Canada's production of core resources required in manufacturing secondary batteries and electric vehicles. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.